NBA Youngboy asked for $100 million to sign a new deal. Let's talk about it. NBA Youngboy has had ongoing issues with his current label, Atlantic Records, since first signing with them in 2017. I have a full video on my channel breaking down his deal and why it's so bad. He is signed to a 5 album deal on a $2 million advance. 3 out of 5 albums have been released, with 4 on the horizon. NBA Youngboy is getting closer and closer to being a free agent and he knows what he wants in the new market. During his time on the label, he has pleaded for ownership, even offering to release four more projects for free just to own his music. His label declined and he has been pushing through since. Now that his time on Atlantic is coming to an end, NBA Youngboy has built up his leverage from his fan base which puts him in a great place to negotiate. He was recently offered $25 million to re-sign with Atlantic, but turned it down. He knows that if a label cannot provide him with his needs, then he can shop around or go independent. Going independent might just be the right route in this situation. Youngboy will just need to execute on that correctly. If a label does make an offer for Youngboy at $100 million, I am not sure if he will own his music because that is a hefty offer and of course whatever label it is will be wanting to make a return. There are benefits to both sides with him signing, I just don't want to see him trying to get out similar to his deal now in 5 years down the road. That is why I think staying independent after after being a free agent may be the best move for him. He already has a very dedicated and loyal fan base, which brings in massive income, especially when independent. It is already estimated that Youngboy brings in 17 million per year from YouTube, meaning having ownership will increase his returning income. To be independent, he will need to have the right process to make sure he maintains his current listeners and be able to grow. This can be done through simple distribution deals that Youngboy can use as leverage to obtain. Having the right steps put in place to go independent will skyrocket NBA Youngboy even more than he already is now. There are a lot of pros and cons that Youngboy will need to consider over the next year while still on Atlantic Records. I am sure the final fifth album will have delays as labels always make it harder for artists trying to make their exit. I am all for Youngboy asking for 100 million to sign a deal. He has built up what he needs to negotiate with labels or just benefit independently. Either way, he will be cashing in large. There is no doubt that an artist like Youngboy will be getting offers. He already had that $25 million from Atlantic, which he turned down. Another offer may be coming from them, or just from other labels entirely. As free agency approaches, NBA Youngboy will weigh his options and make the best decision for him financially. That may be signing for $100 million or going independent. I'm excited to see what is to come. If you were at the level that NBA Youngboy is at, would you sign for $100 million or stay independent? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.